that is physical. So we need to provide a physical condition for the physical yeah. uh, answer. Yeah. And uh, that's one of uh, the layback or something that becomes a problem uh, in a Christian understanding. Yeah. Uh, we think that we just come and pray, just come and go to church and fellowship and everything else we don't want to look after to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. uh, we go to work and we are late. Uh, and in our workplace, we uh, most of the time we do only things that uh, are personal. See, we are not doing it to the company or to the government that gives us salary. No. All these little things, that means you, you are working your faith. Yeah. Yeah. Because you are believing this will happen, this will You are believing for a lot of things, a lot of good things. But the good things will come physically if you set the condition. Yeah. You go to work on time. You do your work in good heart yeah. and very transparency. What will happen to the boss? If any chance of promotion, he will not look at your church. He will not look at uh, your Christianity. He will look at the result that you produce every day. Yeah. And because the, the result is good, that you are faithful, that you are very honest, of course you will be promoted. That's when the James, uh, the book of James comes in that we must work our faith. If not, we'll continue to write our list. Yeah. We'll continue to dream and we continue to watch blessings going there to there to there, to people, to people, to neighbors, to friends. But nothing coming, but nothing you. coming to you. <laughs> because you don't have the condition <laughs> to God call working. God's working yes, in yeah. your life. So as you listen to us this morning, you know, don't don't overthink it. Fail to say, okay, you know, now they're explaining it. Where do I fit in? Will God listen to my prayer? God is a personal God and is a mighty God and a faithful God. Yes. So you need to trust him for who he is. And just come to him the way you are. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. Even myself, I'm not perfect. We are not perfect. Yeah. We have our flaws. Uh, we have our weaknesses. No one is perfect. But the, this is the amazing thing about this God. He takes you the way you are. So just the way you are. You may be dressed well in church. You may be serving God this morning from your home. Or you may be driving, just hearing us, you know, on the audio, just hearing. And you may be in a place and you look at yourself and say, you know, where am I? I just woke up this morning in the wrong house, doing the wrong thing, engaged in the wrong situation in my life. No matter how wrong your life may be this morning. Come to always Christ. remember that this God is yes. a forgiving God and a loving God. Waiting. So he knows exactly where you are. Yeah. So whatever, you know, uh, life that we have lived, I'm talking to us who have been reading the Bible, knowing the Bible, uh, having a relationship with God, a breathless word of God. You know, one thing that you need to battle is your mind, because the devil uses the mind. Cannot touch your heart, but can, you know, uh, work in your mind. So you guard your mind, renew your mind, it says in Romans. You have to renew your mind and seal and cover your mind. Every time as you pray, Lord, please seal and cover my mind uh, with the precious blood. Give me some mind and give me clarity and claim and take ownership because your mind, no matter how much faith you have within you, no matter how much word of God that you have deposited yeah. in your life, no matter how powerful your prayer can be, but when your mind is not stable, when your mind is not right, this mind can take away, it weakens everything that you have already. But when you have little, but your mind is so strong, you can fight it because why? Your mind make that decision. Your mind give you that confidence. Your mind take you to another level. So this morning, mm -hmm. wherever you are, work on your mind and ask God to seal and cover your mind with the precious blood for the devil not to penetrate into your mind and not to play games with your mind. For your mind to be sound, your mind to be clear, because you, your mind is the mind of God. Ask for the mind of God uh, to come into your mind. And when you have that mind, whatever you see, you will know in your heart that you can do it. Yeah. It's not your heart, it's your mind. Because whatever that you see within you, and looking at the cupboards of your kitchen, looking at your house, and you're lacking in so many ways, but you can walk about that. Na koko ni nomba kasa ma. Na kake na koti kongo erawa. Ese ni koko give up. You can daro ni sini tu na mosi ni kolo na matene lo. You can daro ni ndo masu. Ini malu malu kuna nomba kasa ma. Enrenre menda ma baluta. Na bika ndo na menda baluta. So the battle is within your mind, like what I said, because I've seen. A lot of uh, people that are always sending prayer requests, so people that come and I pray with them. I know that this person is so full with the Word of God. I know the knowledge of the Word of God in this, you know, in this particular person. But when they come to God and ask me for prayer, it's all in here. Because the devil...